All right, let's see what else we can find because I'm just like absolutely enamored with this recreation of authentic East Coast wheeling. All right, so we found a paved road. Where does this go from here? So we can go down to the left. That'll take us to where we were before. And then across the street, it looks like there's some nasty rock crawling. Now, we haven't even seen anything down there yet, but I think what we'll do with that is we'll take the tundra down there and see kind of what all is going on in that area. Now, this thing can get up to speed, though. Once you get it up into fourth gear and you start, like, rolling out down a paved road, it's fast, especially for how big it is. All right, well, oh, easy. All right, let's stop for some fuel real quick. Here we go. Some fuel. Go inside, grab a few things for the cooler. All right, let's head out. Now, what do we got right here? Is that like a little diner, cafe? Oh, yeah, bar, restaurant, diner. All right, so there should be an entrance down here. Was a house for sale? Maybe. We'll think about it. Now, what do we have down here on the left? Yo, this has got to be the... Oh, there's multiple ways you can get in. Holy, all right, that kind of sets a mood right off the bat. Whoa, okay, this is... <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I am getting a photo of that. Oh, I don't even... Wow. Dude, I don't even, like, I don't even care that we're, like, about to drive in. I am getting a photo of that. That is... that. That is gonna be gnarly. Wow. Oh, dude, look at these rocks. This is... Yeah, if you're looking for something super realistic, and again, whether you're looking for realistic East Coast wheeling or realistic wheeling in general, like, or just, like, a satisfying map to, you know, to watch while a vehicle flexes through it, this is gonna give that to you in dump truck loads. Not just truck loads, dump truck loads. Thick dump truck loads. There we go. God, this is literally, it literally looks like they copy-pasted real-life terrain into SnowRunner for this. And again, that's not a, that's not like a dig or a criticism. That's very real. I mean, this literally looks like they went out to, you know, trails or off-road parks with a 3D scanner and just scanned a bunch of sections of trail and then just plopped it into the game. And I mean that in the best way freaking possible. Come on, there we go. Slink it around to the right, and then back to the left. Holy crap. Big, big, big wheel hovering. Can we make it? Oh my god, that's so satisfying. Wow. Wow, to be able to use the rock traction to rotate the vehicle around through that notch. <laughs> Actual realistic rock crawling dynamics. Wow. And look how pretty those rocks are. Just, I know this is weird, but like, look how good that looks up close. That looks like real rocks. Does it not? I mean, am I, am I crazy or does that look legit like real rocks? Like, what the heck am I even looking at? That legitimately looks like real rocks. Holy crap. I'm constantly in a state of, like, on this map of, like, what am I going to see next? Because I know it's going to be even more gnarly than what I saw before. All right, so if we stay to the right, this continues on up this hill, and that little spur to the left would have been kind of an alternate route if we wanted to do that. Oh, the sun is blinding. Oh, why did I... Oh, we got a down tree. It's no worries, though. We'll be over it in no time at all. Actually, it's it's really nice for first person, too. If you're in a vehicle that has a really good first person view and you enjoy first person wheeling, this is freaking immersive, dude. Just lumbering my way through the mud and then just plopping it right up over these rocks. God, it's like, and these little, like, you know, little dips in the trail that are filled with, like, both solid and loose rocks accompanied with mud. Like, some of this, like, this right here, some of it actually reminds me of, 
a little bit of it. Now, it, it, admittedly, you know, the trail I'm about to reference is nowhere near as gnarly as this, but even then, like, some of the more tame sections of, of this trail remind me of real sections of the Hurricane Creek Trail. And if you want to see what that looks like, I've got a video taking the tundra through it on my channel. If you want to go and uh, check it out and see what that looks like, and then you'll see why I'm referencing that. But, oh my god, look at it! <laughs> look at it! That right there, that right, I know I'm taking so many pictures, but like, and I know that there's some of you that might be like, oh my god, stop taking pictures, keep driving, but like, look at how realistic that looks. Look at how realistic that looks as a backdrop. Like, looking from the wheeling rig up the trail, that is so incredibly realistic. Like, that is something you would totally see in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping it on in. Wow. <laughs> it's it's so good. I know I just keep going on and on about how realistic this is, but there's a reason for that. There's there's an absolutely absolutely genuine reason for that. All right, let me hang to the Oh god. <laughs> All right, there we go. Is that a Okay, never mind. Well, it's kind of a trail. I guess it's like just water runoff or erosion that you could turn into a trail if you wanted. I mean, it's your playground to do whatever you want with. So if you want to drive up there into the washout, you totally can. God, whoa! That slab approach almost flipped me over in a way I did not expect it to do. This map just continues to not only fascinate me, but also surprise me. Look at that climb. Holy gnarly. What what am I even looking at? <laughs> what am I even Well, right now I'm looking at nothing but the sun. Uh can you can we not? Okay. Maybe maybe <laughs> maybe that's that's just somewhere where you're always going to get blinded unless it's nighttime. Okay. This is going to be really tough. This, I can already tell you, is going to be really tough. I knew it was going to be tough, like, right when I saw it, right when I approached it, but, oh, it's it's going to be even tougher than I thought. Come on. Ah, uh, back it up. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on. All right, we're going to bump it. We're not going to bump it. We are going to bump it. Ah, we're not going to bump it. Nope. <laughs> this has been engineered specifically to get you stuck. Not that it's impossible. I'm sure it's absolutely possible. I'm sure Red's done it. But, like, wow. Unless you know the exact line to take, this is this is pretty insane. This is next level. Let me back up one more time and hit it from this angle again, especially now that we've knocked that little loose rock out of place. Come on. Uh, it's not having it. It's not happy about it, for sure. I wonder if we could go up to the left, and then kind of slink back over to the... Maybe not. Uh, maybe? Alright, I'm gonna give it just one winch pull. Yeah, it's... It's such a weird spot. Oh god, it's pulling me into the ground. Yeah, I need a much better winch point, or a better positioned winch point at that. Do not flip over. Do not flip over backwards. Do not flip over backwards. Do not flip over backwards. Please do not flip over backwards. Oh, I got it! I mean, with help of the winch, but I still got it. Oh, there's a repair point up here. God, it's almost like Red knew that you were going to damage your vehicle going up that hill. Oh! <laughs> Just in development things. It's fine. Yo, look at the cabin down there. And it's really, like, it's, it's not really a cliff edge, but it's like... It's almost like the trail kind of runs around a ridge of, like, kind of overlooking an abandoned farm. I don't know if it's actually abandoned or not, but it's really cool. What is that out there? It's like a massive field. And then it comes back to another power line trail. That's so sick. I love, love how this has been laid out. Absolutely love it. You can bomb down through here if you want. I don't know if I would advise it, but... If you're in something like this, you can totally bomb through here. I wouldn't do this in the tundra because I'd probably, like, absolutely destroy it, but... Especially the bodywork. But, like, wow. Coming back up this would be amazing, too. I would love to run this trail back the other direction. This is going to be a really fun map to do little uh, trail riding adventures with friends, too. Like, in almost a trail rider uh, 
simulator standpoint, like this would be a really good map for that. Like just for getting together with friends, you know, getting your favorite rigs together, realistic rigs at that, and just going out and having some fun on some trails. That That's genuinely what this is for. I mean, and oh, this section right here, again, right back to that realistic representation of East Coast trailing. East Coast, like trailing, East Coast wheeling, whatever you want to call it. Oh, just literally like genuinely just a proper power line trail. And I know it might seem simple to some people, but this is bringing back memories of going wheeling with friends on like power line trails in real life. It's so cool how it's all been put together to, to actually remind you of that if you've had that experience. Now, where does this trail go? Oh, it loops all the way back around. Oh, that's actually really, really cool that it loops all the way back around. I didn't realize it did that. I should have, like, honestly, I should have looked and, and kind of been a little bit more sure of where I was going. But, like, the fact that it loops all the way back around like that actually is really, really cool. It kind of, like, turns this part of the map into its own little section.